CBS 8 has live team coverage across the county to cover all the celebrations. Rocia de la Fe is up in Oceanside, but we're going to get to her in a few minutes. First, though, let's check in with Sean Stiles, who is out in La Jolla Shores, and he's out there cooking this time for a crew of 60 kids from the Pacific Northwest. Sean. Yeah, we're going to fire up some burgers here. I want to bring in Caleb Umber. This young man, come on over here, Caleb, and I'll let John slide on in and talk to us a little bit here. What is the name of your crew, and what are you guys doing in San Diego? Yeah, so we are uh, Resonate Church. Uh, we're from the Pacific Northwest, and we're here to uh, spread the word of God and uh, serve the city of San Diego. Well, thanks for having us here. You got some stuff on the grill. We were here this morning when it was all going on. I want to show you folks at home how La, Shor La Jolla Shores does the 4th of July. Egg, and ham, and steak. From that huge flat top to this one burner, food always tastes better cooked outdoors and at the beach, even breakfast. It's just always beautiful at the beach. The cloud cover kept it cool. It doesn't matter whether it's overcast or not, it's still beautiful and beautiful weather, Glad, good place to be on the 4th of July. The beach was packed even with the cloud cover this morning. Finding space today at La Jolla Shores took some fancy footwork. Of course, the red, white, and blue was on full display. On the beach, it seemed crowded, but from above, there was plenty of room, even for a game of cornhole. And how's this 4th of July shaping up for the family? Uh, pretty good. We woke up early just to have the uh, beach front view here. So perfect. Did not disappoint. It may have seemed chilly this morning, but it's it still fun. Yeah. yeah. What are you going to do tonight? Eat. Watch the fireworks. Lifeguards had a watchful eye on the crowd, patrolling on the beach, in the water, and past the breakers, keeping people safe. By noon, the sun started to make its appearance, and that meant for sunscreen application. At lunch, which seemed to have all the grills fired up, from hot dogs to burgers to kebabs, families were out today to celebrate the birth of the United States. I spoke to the Afifa family from Syria and what it means to them. The 4th of July, like, mean, uh, it's make us like, uh, we feel like independent, like, you know, and freedom, and um, we feel happy when the 4th of July, like, we feel like comfortable. Always remembering how rare our freedom is and how great the United States is. I'm going to ask again. Here we go. All right, a quick turn on that burger, looking pretty good. Caleb, how long has your crew been coming to San Diego and how much longer in San Diego? Yeah, so uh, in total, this project's been here for 10 years. Uh, we'll be here for four more weeks this summer. Uh, we're going home uh, the 29th of July. Well, thanks for coming to San Diego. So 4th of July, great. The folks that are coming down here expecting fireworks, well, it's actually going to be a drone display. Carlo, I'll tell you, La Jolla Shores is family-centered, and there are a ton of people down here just like Caleb. Back to you. Sean, we had Steve Price from Imperial Beach on during the four. I'm watching you here at five at La Jolla Shores. It looks like the vibe at the beach is very, very family friendly, very cordial. It looks like people are just having a great time being out oh, with yeah. each other. You know, I have to say that I have never seen so many different families down here from so many parts of the world and great people like Caleb and the crew of kids that are down here. It is so family oriented, I can't even begin to tell you. And it's just a great thing to be able to come here and celebrate the birth of our nation and know how proud I am to be a U.S. citizen. Fantastic. Great sentiment there. Sean Stiles reporting from La Jolla Shores. Thanks, Sean. And as he